Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lanessa Farms, especially in Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. If you have a pasture like we do and you do some baling, we want you to watch this before you do your first cutting. Stay tuned to find out All right, more. So here we are, we are in Northwest Indiana and it is the weekend before Memorial Day. And we usually like to say we get our first cutting out of the fields uh, no later than Memorial Day weekend. Um, and as you can see, my orchard grass and my uh, pasture that I'm actually going to um, make bales out of. We're going to make round bales out of this here in about a week uh, or actually within a few days. But you'll notice that it's awfully darn tall and it's all going to seed. And some people may tell you that that is not necessarily a good thing to do, especially with your first cutting. The reason for that is you can see how stemmy this is. This is orchard grass and you can see how stemmy that is. It doesn't make necessarily very good hay. Um, it depends on the animals. Goats will eat this up pretty good, but that stemminess makes that hay a little harder and a little less soft. So uh, while we do appreciate that we have second and third cuttings that'll be nice and soft and be more grassy. Um, if you look down here lower, you'll actually see we do have quite a bit of clover and we do have um, some alfalfa that's in here as well to add some softness. Um, but you may ask yourself, why do I let it go to seed like this? Why would I allow that stemminess to go? And if you look when I do that, you can see the reason why. Do you see, you probably can see all these little seeds that are coming off of here. And that is exactly why we let this go to seed. If you follow me in here a little bit farther and we look closely anywhere, uh, let's look down right here, look on top of this clover and you can see, see all these little grains of rice that look like little grains of rice on top of this clover. And that is actually grass seed. This works out fantastic. I don't know how much you enjoy spending money on seed, but we don't enjoy spending it too much at all. So for our first cutting, we always allow our orchard grass and our other grasses to actually go to seed. That way when our baler comes through and we mow this down, we've got good seed uh, spread. It'll get down pretty well into, the, uh, into good soil contact and it will help um, to ensure that our our pasture is basically overseeded. So with that being said, just something for you to consider. Before first cutting, let it go a little bit longer. Let it go a couple extra weeks. Let it go to seed, and I think you'll notice some pretty substantial returns for your patients. This is actually Mavis. Mavis is our uh, new puppy. She is a Great Pyrenees, and she's gonna be protecting our livestock. So I guess this is a, as good a time as ever to introduce her to you. Um, but she is out following us around. Anyhow, that is all I have to say right now about that. So thanks for joining us again today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.